Hi everyone. Grab your comfy pillows and let's get started on story time. This week we have been talking about what we love about us or self-compassion. We've been talking a lot about how we can be really good friends to our own bodies and minds. And one of the main things that we can do is love who we are and accept who we are and not let anybody make us feel bad about our names, our skin, our voice, what feels good when people talk about us, what words feel good. This might be your gender identity. It might be a nickname. It might even be when they're saying, when they're addressing you, when they say, hey you, that might not feel good. So however someone, you, what words someone uses to talk about you, and also just the things you like and who you are. It's important that we love all five of those things, our names, our bodies, words that are used to talk about us, and that we let people know what words we like hearing when they talk about us, things that make us happy, and also who we are in general. All of these things together is who we are and the things we like. Today, we're going to read Always, always, always Anjali. She looks really happy there, doesn't she? Let's get started. Always Anjali. Once upon a restless, so she was having a hard time sleeping, a restless night. A little girl named Angel Anjali laid awake in her bed. She was turning seven and she had super important business on her mind. Bikes! All she wanted was one of her own, a very own bike just for her. Finally, the sun rose and Anjali sprung out of bed and zoomed downstairs right past her mom, not stopping until she found herself in front of a large box. She closed her eyes, took a deep breath and very carefully opened it. stupendous just like a race car Anjali cheered as she took a spin around the kitchen on her bike can I take it to school to the school carnival this afternoon Anjali hit the brakes at her mom's feet please please pretty please Anjali's face lit up when her mom nodded and said yes She's gonna take it outside. After school, Anjali and her best friends, Mary and Courtney, were riding their bikes together around the carnival. Mary spotted a booth that was selling personalized license plates. Those are things on the back of cars and trucks that have numbers and letters on them. It's sort of like a car and truck's name. It's exactly like a car and truck's name. The license plate, is the name of the car or truck or motorcycle or Vespa. Most vehicles, things you move around on with wheels, have names. We should all get matching plates for our bikes. And then they said, superb. Angela and Courtney agreed as they made their way to the booth. Mary and Courtney found their names right away. 
Anjali looked and looked. Hmm. She's looking at all the names that start with A. She doesn't see hers. I don't see it. Uh-oh. Anjali asked if they had more plates somewhere else. Sorry, kid, the cashier grumbled. Can you please check? Anjali pleaded. The cashier muttered, what's your name? Anjali? Huh? Spell it. A-N-J-A-L-I. The cashier chuckled and tossed a plate in front of Anjali. Does that spell a n j a l i? Is that her name? No. Anjali suddenly heard one of the older boys, Zachary, snickering. He was laughing. They're not going to have a plate with someone like you, Angeli. Oh. Angeli? That's not her name. It's not very kind to call someone by a name that isn't theirs. Anjali's face got hot. We talked about when our face is hot, we might feel angry or embarrassed or worried. Let's see. Peanut butter and jelly. Can I get a peanut butter and jelly with a dot on top? Then she heard laughter. Peanut butter and jelly. Can I get a peanut butter and jelly? That's what this friend, this person is saying. More classmates had joined Zachary. Angela blinked back tears. They were making fun of her name and also who she is. Zachary was not choosing kindness. Zachary's words were very mean. They hurt Angela's feelings. At dinner that night, Angela cleared her throat. <sighs> I'm changing my name to Angie, she said. Angela, why would you want to do that? Your name is beautiful, Anjali's dad assured her. No, it isn't. It's embarrassing. And it's Angie, Anjali cried. Your name is very important part of who you are, Anjali's mom said. Exactly, Anjali said defiantly. And no one has heard of it. And no one can spell it. And frankly, I hate it. You are not changing your name, Anjali's dad said firmly. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Anjali burst into tears and ran to her room. Oof. What does it look like she's feeling right now in both of these pictures? How does it look like she's feeling after her day of someone making fun of her name, laughing at her name, and making fun of who she is? How does it look like she feels? if someone made fun of your name made fun of spelling your name and made fun of who you are would that feel good inside I wouldn't I wouldn't feel good inside did it look like Angela liked Angela liked how people were using her name did she like the words people were using to talk about her? No. It made her really angry. She felt embarrassed 
and wanted to change her name. She wanted to change something about her, who she was. Should we see what happens next? Okay, let's see. Angela, do you know we picked your name out especially just for you? That's her mom. From the moment we saw you, we knew we needed a special name for a special girl. A name whose meaning would capture your spirit. M my name means something? Angela peeked out her head. Her mother nodded. M what does it mean? Angela asked her mom. I think she's moved from angry to feeling really hurt and sad. Her mom is there to listen and talk to her about her feelings. Let's see what they say. Anjali is a gift. The most precious kind, divine, just like you. Where does it mean that? Anjali asked doubtfully. In India, it's Sanskrit. My name, your dad's name, all of our family's names are from India. India is an enchanting place full of magic and brilliance and power. Be proud of who you are, Anjali. To be different is to be marvelous. <laughs> Anjali mumbled. Anjali woke up in the middle of the night with a start. She bolted out of bed with a mission. She turned on a little lamp and got to work. An hour later, and with some final touches done, she reviewed her creation one last time. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to see what she made. The next day at school, Mary and Courtney were waiting for Anjali with a box. Anjali opened the box and to her surprise, she found an Anjali license plate. We made one for you exactly like ours. They made her one because they couldn't find her one. So they made her one just for her. That's so kind. And then guess what? You aren't going to believe this, but Anjali teased gleefully. She pulled the license plate she had made out of her backpack. Mary and Courtney squealed. <coughs> they had both made license plates for her bike. Their classmates walked over wondering what was causing all of this noise and commotion. When they saw the special license plate Anjali had made, everyone wanted one that would be just as one of a kind. Ooh. Are you ready to see it? Okay. Can, you, can we make a drum roll? <sighs> ready? Drum roll. <laughs> Wow, you made that? We love those colors How you and how you drew those letters. I've never seen anything like it. What are those beautiful little gem-like things? They're called bendies, said Anjali. Cool, can you make one for me that no one will have too? How do you think she's feeling right now? Yeah, I think so too. She looks really happy and maybe even confident and proud. Her name is special. After school, when Zachary spotted Anjali, he yelled, Hey, Angeli, did you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch? He burst out laughing. Anjali took a deep breath 
and stood up straight. <sighs> Looking at Zachary, she quipped, They are the best kind of sandwiches. She hopped on her bike and whizzed past Zachary and his friends. She had places to go and didn't have time for his foolishness. So he was being unkind to her and she stood up for herself. She used her strong, confident voice and said, I love peanut butter and, and jelly sandwiches. They're the best. And then she rode away on her bike. <laughs> she knew there was greatness in not being one of the crowd and vowed to always be Anjali. The end. That was so much fun. When we were reading this book, what did Anjali have to love about herself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, her name. Let's put that on our self-compassion board. We have to love our names. N A. M, E, our names. Our names. Our name is important to love, isn't it? It's the first thing that people might use to describe us. And when they talk about Anjali, they'll say she was always, she is always Anjali. Let's do our belly breaths. Sit up nice and tall. Reach your arms out wide. Place them both on your belly. Take a big deep breath in. And out. Think about your name. It's really unique and special. It's just you. <laughs> you might share your name with someone else, like a family member or a friend. But just like Anjali, you're the only version of you. Someone who might have the same name as you, they don't have the same face or voice or heart. So today, after reading our story and learning that we have to love our names and treat our names with kindness, take a moment, hold your heart, and I want you to say in your head or out loud if you want, the name that feels good when you talk about yourself. Because sometimes the name that you were given when you were born isn't the name that feels good. And that's okay. We're allowed to choose how we want to be called. But make sure it feels good when you say this name. I like the name I was born with, so I'm going to use Malia. You can use whatever name feels good to hear when talking about yourself. Place both hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and out. Next and last breath, I want you to say, I love being, and then put your name. Or you can just say me. You can say, I love being me. I love being, maybe your name is Angela, or your name is Paul, or your name is Jaden, or Amber or anything, whatever name feels good when you talk about yourself. Or say me. Take a deep breath in and out. I love being me. 
Give yourself, give your heart a little bit of a rub. Give yourself a big hug. And remember to treat your name, whether you create a new name for yourself or you use the name you were born with, but treat your name with self-compassion. Give it lots of love and kindness. Okay. Thank you for reading with me today. Bye, everybody. See you next time.